We're here. We're here. <laughs> well, welcome everyone. I'm very excited that we're all here to do some sprints, some seasonathon uh, study a study session, and of course we've got Mel. <laughs> Can never do this uh reverse. me either <laughs> oh what's your official title mel all of a sudden my brain froze dean or oh uh dean of students yeah, dean, dean of students dean of students thank you and of course oh oh yeah oh there i did it we got becca from becca books and bujo mm -hmm. who is also a student this year mm -hmm. this term <laughs> and How's it going? How's it going for both of you? How how are you doing so far with your classes? Really good. Um, <laughs> go ahead, Becca. Okay, you, you tell us, Becca. Yeah. I've got four of the five done. I'm working on the fifth. Oh. <laughs> Me and Amy both go, oh. How far along are you? Are you? Have you been crying already? Not yet, but I can definitely tell I will. Yeah, it's... Have either of you read it? I've no. heard enough about it. <laughs> yeah, I can tell it's going to be the way that they set up the characters, just like you instantly glom onto them. I don't know. I I don't know what I've actually completed because my initial original TBR. Um, okay, for, for the initial original TBR for my five classes, I haven't read any of them. <laughs> But I have read other things like while I was on my trip, but I was like, I don't know what any of those filled. Like I know that there are mm -hmm. some that are filled. So I have to just go and match up and mm -hmm. see like, okay, have I, have I actually completed what I need to do? Yeah. Here? Cause I know I've done, I didn't have this, all the stuff with me while we were like on the trip. And I was just kind of going with what I could get on hoopla and Libby and, and whatever. Um, so I, I know I've read like such a fun age. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that fills a prompt. Mm -hmm. Fourth wing. I'm sure that fills a prompt. Well, that hyped. hyped book. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, what else have I read? Uh, I'm currently reading Sweet Black Waves. And I'm also currently reading One Iridescent Night. And I'm also currently reading An Ember no not an ember uh a torch against the night which is the second so you have a lot of things that'll work for it yeah or be able to make all work what else have i read i don't remember i started to read this one book like i had it i i, I got a bunch of stuff before we left because i didn't know if i'd be able to get it while we were gone and um <laughs> it was on scribd and uh what to say next that was the book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I went to play it, and the title and the chapter headers were in English, but when they got to reading the actual text, mm -hmm. it was in German. Yes. I was like, what? <laughs> it took my brain a second to go, this is not This is not English. <laughs> what are they saying? <laughs> and so that one didn't work. Uh, let me see. Wait, where's my tag? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, where are my tags? Oh, I read Look Closer by David Ellis, which was not on any kind of TBR at all, but I read it anyway. Um, uh, trying There's to some rather niche prompts this time around, too. Yeah, they're a little bit harder to fill. But there's so many that there, yeah, and there every section lot. does have ones that are not so niche. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so that, I mean, yeah, if you, if you can get those niche ones, cool. But if you can't, there's always something that's pretty open that you can. Yeah. Um, let's see. So that was what's on Libby. I'm like going through, like, what all did I go on? Uh, yeah, it was uh, What to Say Next by Julie bomb that was in German. Uh, <laughs> That's I'm, pretty exciting. I'm like, why? <laughs> why? What's going on here? Why? Like, it had the dedication. It had like a quote at the beginning. All of that was in English. That's and strange. So it was like, okay, I'm listening to it and I'm understanding everything. And then all of a sudden, I thought I was like, I lost my mind because it goes from I understand every word you're saying to I don't understand any word you're saying. I'm like. 
what? And I had to go back. I was like, what just happened? <laughs> what Am just I really tired or? <laughs> <laughs> I was really confused. Um, yeah, I think that's all I've read. I have, I have not read a whole lot. I mean, that's a lot to me, but <laughs> not for you. I've been moving things around. So like I keep like, oh, well, maybe actually I need to move to this now or move to that. <laughs> so I I have finished um, a classic. I read uh, Legend of Sleepy Hollow. I finished a book set in the 1920s. I read The Diviners. And now I'm reading The Great Alone. And I, yep, I know you love Kristen Hanna. So I was like, well, that actually works for a new to me author because I haven't read anything by Krista Hanna. And so, sorry, there's a loud car going by. Get out of here. And so I was like, because I was going to use the new to you author for Thief of Sorrows, which I'm like 60% of the way through. But I'm thinking that'll actually work for the gender studies one, read a book with female empowerment. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, maybe I shift that to that so then I can use this for a new to me author. Mm -hmm. You could almost even use The Great Alone for female empowerment, maybe. Little, well, it, it, not yet. <laughs> How far are you? Uh, oh, okay. I'm 260. I mean, female empowerment as far as like they're surviving in Alaska at this point. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I, I definitely got the female empowerment prompt done with, with both such a fun age, mm -hmm. fourth wing. Both of those have female empowerment. So I'm, I'm going to end up like, all of my books will have female empowerment <laughs> or all of my books will fit into one category. And I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> I, that was, the, and that was kind of my problem. I was like, I have so many that will work for debut novel, debut novel or novel, novel or new to you author, especially, but I just, I had to figure out different ways to like get the other ones to work. So mm -hmm. let's see who's here with us. Hey, Don, here and ready. Hey, Shelly. Hey friends, I'm a grand. Hey Drew's here at grandparents tonight. How's everyone doing? I'm going to be reading Good Guys, Good Girls Guide to Murder. I do want to read that at some point. Yeah, have you ever read that? I have the whole. No. I think I have the whole series, but I haven't read it. I have the first one. Yeah. Ink Blood Sister Scribe. Honestly, not liking it. So, I I've that's a fairly new one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've heard some things. I've heard mixed things. I think. I saw a really and pretty edition, edition of it in Amsterdam. Mm. It does have a pretty cover. I think the original cover is pretty. It's Magda. Hey, hey, all. Happy Friday. Just checking in before my battery dies. Does anyone have any recommendations for mystery series? I'm running out of ideas. Magda's read like every mystery series too. So <laughs> give us your more niche Angela. mystery series. Louise Penny. You've read that Magda? I don't know if she, I don't know if she has. Yeah. Magda, have you read, um, the Inspector Gamache series. The Inspector Armand Gamache. Dead in Gondola. That's cute. It's like a cozy mystery. Set yeah, in like be a, a mountain bookstore place that you can only get there by like, what do you call it? The little gondola? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> It's in the title. <laughs> that thing that's in the title. <laughs> My brain is broken. <laughs> Magda, have you read this series, the Cork O'Connor series? Iron Lake by William Kent Kruger. He's a Minnesota author. This is like 19 books in the series. Give it a try. That'd be good. See, so currently reading The Organ Files by Cl Clive Cussler and two food related cozy mystery series. Yeah. Cozy mysteries, I always. I've just started reading the famous Joanne Fluke chocolate oh, chip cookie I've murder, all those one. ones. I love it. The Hannah Swenson one. Yeah. yeah, it was a lot of fun. I don't know. Like, I, I haven't really read any other cozy mysteries, so I'll be curious to see. Like, because I feel like they put so many out, and are they all pretty? Like, is are they kind of like you know how like romances you have your your romances that are, are higher end romances, but then you have your like fun romances that are like your Harley Quinn slash just, you just kind of read them because they're fun. And I'm wondering is, is so cozy mysteries, are there like different levels of cozy mysteries? I don't know. I don't know enough Probably. about cozy mysteries. I, I would think so. Like, I don't know that I would put like dead and gondola. I don't know that I would put that with, 
like in the same category as like the ones that you get like mass market. Mm -hmm. Um, but Joanne Fluke ones, like the Hannah Swinston ones. I don't know. That one's kind of like on the border. It could go either way, I think. But they're super cute. Like, I've only read the first one, but I love the recipes in it. I love a book that has food and re the recipes for the food in it. Obviously, I eat too much. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I tried out the first cookie to cookie recipe and it was delicious. <laughs> I ate way too much on this trip and I'm like, oh, everything got fluffy. <laughs> it, it's, it's just, it's vacation. It doesn't count. It'll just, you know, it's just water. It's just, it's water. Free calories. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Hey, Alicia, washing my hair. I was washing my hair. <laughs> Trying to finish the shadow cabinet by tomorrow. That's the second one in the Juno Dawson, right? The um, HMN, HMC, you know, uh, her, her majesty's Royal Covenant H. MRC. Series, I thought that right? was like the second book in um No, it's your Majesty's Royal. Hold on. Well, Not the Covenant. Up. <laughs> I, I just think of a different uh, series altogether. Uh Megan. Megan's gonna check them out. Oh yeah. The no. cabinet. What's a cozy paranormal series? Cozy ghost. Yeah. It's the H H M R C. Mm-hmm. Are you thinking of the the, the, the De Oh, I thought you're thinking of Deborah Harkness. The no, I was thinking of the Shades of London series. It, there's actually book three in the Shades of London is the Shadow Cabinet by Maureen oh. Johnson. This is what the cover looks like. Mm. Oh, how funny. Okay, so exactly the same title. Let's see. Um, currently reading Nine Years Among the Indians, published 1899, and started listening to Thief of Shadows this morning. Yeah, I've been listening to it. The audiobook is really good. Like, I've been enjoying the narrator of the audiobook. That's good. I'm planning on, on waiting just a couple more days. I'm hoping to finish the audiobook I'm on and one more before going into Thief of Sorrows because I want to, like, I want to get it as close to the live so it's as fresh in my brain as possible. Because if I read like five more books between The, the Thief of Sorrows and the mm -hmm. live, I'll have forgotten everything. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely, well, I'm, I'm reading it like as I drive to and from work. So then it just works out that I'll have it done before the live. <laughs> but yeah, the audio book, the narrator is fantastic. She's fantastic. I love the recipes in the Joan Flukes Flun, Fluke books. Yeah, they're. I liked the first one I tried. So, read the first in Spellbound called Curse. Oh wait, I've read the first Curse in Spellbound day. called Curse the Day by Annabelle Chase. So there's a paranormal, cozy paranormal for you, Magda. Curse the Day. Hmm. Sounds fun. Oh, so should we do a sprint? Get our get a get it going. Sure. Um, how long do we want to do? How long do you typically do? I, I don't I do like 30 minutes on mine, but I have a spinner wheel, so I typically yeah. spin the wheel. We'll do that. I love Make to keep time. Thing. So one of the things I did on this trip was for it was something I've never done before. You might be able to kind of tell. I got lip injections. Oh, Ooh. I got a little bit, a little bit more juicy lips, a little bit of a pucker. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> that's um, fun. That part of the, like I've, I've videoed the entire thing for the most part. It was torture. It was, Oh my God. I, I, like even watching it hurt watching it. <laughs> it was, but that vlog will be out tomorrow. Oh and, my gosh. If, I have... if, you want, if you want to watch me tor get tortured, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, all the cuss words that are going through my head. <laughs> oh my god! Insane. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, good. I, you can do it, so I don't have to. The video. <laughs> I was like, if needles bother you, do not like <laughs> skip to this part. <laughs> but yeah, it was bad. Spin. Alicia says, "Spin the wheel, spin the wheel." And Krista's here. Hello, hello. Just joining in, reading after story tonight, an Aussie book about a mother-daughter trip to literally literary sites. Ooh, I'm gonna write that one down. 
sites. <laughs> I love that. I want to do my own journeys to literary sites. <laughs> I love that. Me too. Uh, there's a there's a book, a cute little series called Mother Daughter Book Club, and they oh, read they read classics. And it's like this little group of friends and their moms. And then they like, they'll do like little activities and stuff for the stuff in like the book. And they'll read like little women and things like that. And it's a really, 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 really cute series. I definitely would recommend that. And they do the, they also will go sometimes to that. these spots like Emily, Dick, like where Emily Dickinson was or something. I love that. That is so fun. I Drew usually does a 45. I think you meant minute, right? Hopefully not hours. <laughs> yeah, 45. <laughs> that is beyond the marathon. <laughs> I don't think any of us will want to read that long. It's, it has a map at the beginning of all the places they'll go to. I love that. That is so cute. Yep, definitely checking that out. Okay, here's my wheel. Oh. <laughs> Oh, good. Yeah. 25. Woohoo. Big money, big money, big money. I'm just kidding. I love the wheel. <laughs> I'm going to go see The Price is Right. Oh, that's Real? awesome. When are you doing that? There's a live show in Minnesota, and I'm going in October. That's awesome. I've always wanted to go to one of those. I know, me too. Make sure you get there very, very early because we tried to take my grandma. Did I tell you about this already? No. No, I haven't heard. We this. tried to take my grandma for one of her birthdays because she loved the prizes, right? And we got there at like two thirty in the morning, and there was nobody in line because we were driving in from else, you know, from Northern California down to the Southern California. And so we're like, oh, we'll just go sleep for a couple hours, and we'll come back at four. We get there at four. The line. We get in line. There were. We we didn't make it in like like I think it was like eight people eight people in front of us is where they cut it off, and we didn't make it in, and we were like we should have at least had one person just stay there, you know, or, you know oh, like just because that's why we went. It was all to surprise my grandma and take her on the prices right. But we ended up going and watching Jeopardy instead because we were able to get on that because you know you're not a contestant, so it's harder with with prices right because you're a contestant, and um. Did you say Price is Right or Wheel of Fortune? Price is Right. Price is right. Okay, thank goodness. Because all of a sudden my brain no. was like, wait. <laughs> just, just had a brain fart. We did a rent, so we, I will go oh. with it. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, because, I mean, Jeopardy was great, but it wasn't quite what we had hoped for. Yeah. It was fun, though. That would have sucked, though. <laughs> I would have been like, no. <laughs> It was really sad. I know because it was, and and we they were. It was like, but but we're just we're just 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 a, just take a few more. Just take a few more. Come on. It was surprising though how quickly oh, it. Cares. It was very sad. Okay, let's see. Let me see how how good my math is right now. I think we'd end at fifteen. Yes, we'd end at fifteen. Pretty close, yeah. Okay. All right. Well. I hope everyone, oh, and then everybody let us know what, oh no, what, uh, what class you're covering with your book, and then we'll talk about the next sprint, or the next non-sprint. <laughs> See, yeah, words are not my friend tonight. <laughs> words are hard. <laughs> they really are. We're all going <laughs> Happy reading, everyone. Happy reading.
Welcome back. This is getting scary. There like, and it's not the the fear of Alaska in this, you know. Ugh. It's it's deep. I'm reading a Kristen Hanna too. <laughs> is that the last one you have to read? I remember you saying you're getting close to the last one you have yeah. to read. This is the second to last. So we started it. <laughs> so while I was listening to Sweet Black Waves, I was going through like and putting in, in a like a little note on my phone what all I've read and looking at the prompts and figuring out what fits oh, where. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, I've got some work to do. Um, yeah. no. So the, the Kindle book that I'm reading called one iridescent night will work for the second with um, class English uh, 2420. It's a retelling of a classic mm -hmm. because it's a Cinderella retelling. Mm -hmm. um, also for the second category <laughs> so I've got two in the second well, category awesome. yeah. I've got English 2530 involves a battle or war for fourth wing and then Sweet Black Waves mm -hmm. that I'm currently reading right now will work for the fourth category for female empowerment and the other two that I've already completed I couldn't find anything for them to fit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so look closer and such a fun age. I don't know. Uh, I couldn't figure any, figure any. Well, I, I could use um, for either one of those. I could do like new to me author. Mm -hmm. But if I'm doing that, what would I count Thief of Sorrows for? I think you can count it as a book with female empowerment. But I've already got that. Oh, you, you did? Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, What's the last one? Book. She's an American. From a different country. Yeah, I was looking at all these authors, and I'm like, do, do any of you, like, not live here? <laughs> the closest one is the author for Sweet Black Waves, but she's, she, it's, she's a native New Yorker, oh. but she's like, half Argentinian and half something else. But it says, like, the first thing it says is she's a native, native New Yorker. And so I was like, well, that, does, that doesn't count. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so none of these authors actually yeah, they're all American authors. So I'm like, I've got some work to do. <laughs> so I have to do Thief of Sorrows. I think the graphic novel that was in which category art that was in uh oh that was in fine arts and humanities visual and performing arts visual and performing arts okay so that's three i can do a graphic novel for three now you're yeah. making me get my bullet journal out so yeah I let's hear you <laughs> thief of sorrows for one oh, yeah that's in that graphic one. novel for number three and then I still got to do something for number five. And I have to look and see what in the world. Oh, you're from a different country. Yeah, you're going to have to find something. That I have, I have something to written down. Whatever was on my original sure. TBR, I had figured out. So I'll have to look and see what in the world. I have three books for one category finished already. <laughs> Which book's that? Uh, it's by Family Volume 6 for a graphic novel. A book involving music is The Heart Principle by Helen Huang. And a book involving film is St. Maisie by Jamie Amberg. Those were just three random ones. I was going to read Spy Family for the graphic novel. And then I just, you know, can fit things into other. Mm -hmm. I, Though I, nice. I could, I could count such a fun age as a new to me author. And I could count the, um, Thief of Sorrows for the re classic retelling. And then, but what, mm -hmm. what's your retelling that you're reading right now? The One Iridescent Night. I don't know that that could count for anything else. I'd have to look. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a Kindle book that I'm reading. Oh, it's about. Well, the good news is there's still a week. 
<laughs> Week, got it. Got to hit it. I only have like 15 videos to edit. And <laughs> That's all. That's all. Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> yesterday was my day that I was going to be filming all of my TBR stuff. And I did. However, I, I will say here that there's not going to be a game. I'm not doing a TBR game for my TBR this time. Who is Melanie without... <laughs> I know, right? I was just like, I, I, I can't do it. Because there's like, you know, my cards and then my wheel. And I, I'm so behind on books. And I like, I, I went through everything that I was supposed to have read and still need to read this month, plus everything I'm behind on. And I was like, I can't add more to it. I have 30 books that I'm supposed to read between now, like that I'm supposed to read. <laughs> before the end of this month and that's not happening that's 29 too many <laughs> yeah and so i'm like okay that is my tbr from now through the end of october is to read those 30 books so some of them this month the catch most of them will be next yeah. month mm -hmm. yeah so that's yeah funny. october is going to be a catch-up month so it's weird because i'm not going to have i struggled with that but i was just like i i I just can't do it. <laughs> Reading should be fun. Come on. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm actually going to do TBR, but it's going to be a spookopathon TBR because I I really did want to play my game, but I also haven't been able to participate in Becca's, you know, readathon for like a while now, mm -hmm. and she's doing a spooky version. So I was like, wait, mm. what? I have, I'm behind on watching videos. She's too, doing so. spookopathon instead of. Bookopathon. Book so she created a whole new uh, board. Spookopoly. Spookopoly. I'm still going to play that. <laughs> yeah, but I, you can play as you go. You can play you know, as I'm, I'm going to use, use the 30 books I already have. To exactly. I'm sure you'll be able to fit those into the prompts. It's I'm, funny too because when I filmed my when I filmed the TBR, like going over everything that I, I'm behind on and I need to read and all that, I'm like, and if by chance I finish these 30 books. <laughs> here's another stack <laughs> that i want to try we're crazy yeah i combined my prompts with the spookopathon prompts that i got you did mm -hmm. my, my, I, my game. I just have been doing so poorly with my game recently that it feels like i love my game it's fun but i have been doing really poorly ever since i started going back you know in back in the class and so this month i didn't do my game because i was like i'm just gonna play it as i go well, I've only, <laughs> only been able to roll it once because I'm reading this, which is giant. <laughs> Plus, I'm doing two readathons. So, yeah. <laughs> my thought, um, so I'm, I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not doing that. But then I may sometime in October do my new game, the better oh, no, book your, one. Your weekend one. Yeah. I might do that at some point to like. And that'll help you get through. Yeah, and, and that's a fun TBR game too. I love my little TBR games. It's cute. I, like I have a hard time not having like fifteen TBR games, <laughs> and that's all my channel is. Is here's all the let's play bookish games all day, every day. <laughs> They're so fun. They're so. They're so I love them. You know, I absolutely I love them. I just awesome. I've been failing horribly lately. <laughs> so just to me, it's like, why are you doing this to yourself, baby? <laughs> yeah, I mean, only if it works for you. Should you be yeah. doing it? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like, mm, well, if, if, if I were to play all the games that I would like to create, um, there would be no time for actually reading. And so it would just be a, this is what book I would pick for this, but I'm not actually yeah. going to read it. Yeah. This is, oh, yeah. When I was going over like the book, so it's like, okay, so let's see how I've done. And this is why I'm doing this video. <laughs> and so it's I like- I saw somebody do that recently. They like played their game and then just gave recommendations because they weren't going to play it for themselves. They're like, That's here's fun. some books that could fit in these prompts for you. Who was that? I don't know. can't remember. I, I do think that's a fun idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I was like, I was for, for this have I read it, I was to read this and this. And I've read neither. And for this one, I was to read this, and I haven't read it. And for this, I was supposed to read this, and I haven't read it. <laughs> and yeah. I was like, and then it was like ten books down. Okay, I've read this one. <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah. yeah it's, it, it's gotten. It's gotten it feels rough. <laughs> it's gotten out of hand. <laughs> well, it's because of everything that's been going on before trip and then during trip and since being home. And I was doing so much pre filming and editing before we went on the trip. So things would post the whole time I was gone. Mm-hmm. And now that I'm back, I'm trying to edit all the things that I filmed while I was gone. And then while I was gone, I, I was on vacation. I, you know, when yeah. I'm on vacation, that's not the time for me to read typically because mm-hmm. a lot of people, they want to read on vacation, wow. but me, I'm like, I read all day, every day, pretty I much. So I'm like, yeah. I'm taking a break from, like, I'll, I'll read when I'm doing other stuff. But for the most part, I was playing in the casino and getting massages and <laughs> having adventures and not reading. <laughs> I think it's for me, it depends on the trip. So some trips, like yeah. my recent road trip, my friend Shell had planned the whole thing. And it was such a, like, we were doing something every day all the time. So there was no reading happening on that trip. But then I went to Ohio to visit my other friend and she has a, a one-year-old, well, one and a half year old. And of course they had very strict like sleeping oh, yeah. schedules and stuff. So I had a lot of time to read. <laughs> I just got to spend time reading on that trip. <laughs> yeah. It, it definitely would depend on like the trip. Like if I was going to visit my mom, you know, she goes to bed fairly early and, so I would in the evening sit and read a lot, but yeah, when I'm, when I'm out traveling to other countries and getting to have adventures and stuff, I want to be in the adventure, not read the adventure, <laughs> you know? So that there, that's just not how you, know. how you prefer to travel. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, if if I've got like lazy days where absolutely nothing's going on, then yeah, I'll read. Or if we're just walking around, you know, I can listen to an audiobook. But a lot of times, like when we were walking around Amsterdam, I wasn't listening to an audiobook because Marty didn't have something to listen to because he didn't have internet or anything on his phone. We had no cell service. So, you know, we were walking around and videoing and talking and you know, not just in our heads ourselves, you know, mm-hmm. we're socializing with each other and people. It's good. That's That's good. We're going to nudie spas and <laughs> we did the nudie spa. <laughs> when in Amsterdam, you know, when in Amsterdam, do as the <laughs> Amsterdams do. <laughs> not all of them though. We, we didn't, we didn't do the red light district. <laughs> no. But we did do the cannabis museum. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, you got it. Like, do they have a death murder museum or something in New Orleans? It's really dark. That was a bit much, but it's you know sometimes it's just fun when you go to places to to see what they got there and and you know you're on vacation. I showed Xander the what I put in the vlog um, from the torture museum, and I was like, "Do you know what this thing is?" <laughs> it was a, the chastity belt, oh. and he was like. No, and I told him what it was, and he was like, "Oh, <laughs> oh my, oh my god!" <laughs> Did he not go? Uh, uh-uh. uh. Okay, no, it was just me and Marty. Oh, that's relaxing. I mean, it's wonderful, with Xander, too. But I'm sure it's also nice for you to be able to go on just a trip with the two of you, too, right? Yeah. Yeah. In, in January, Xander and I have a trip that's just the two of us, nice. and then in February, the three of us are going on a trip, and then Marty's flying home, and then Xander and I are going to continue. We're gonna have a month and a half bounce around Europe. Always traveling, mm-hmm. making yeah, life. Life. Marty was like, we were we were talking about it, and he was like, "You realize that almost half the year next year you're gonna be out of the country." And I'm like, "Nah, maybe, <laughs> actually, <laughs> yeah, kind of." <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, because we're we're going in January. Xander and I and my mom and a friend, we're doing like a five day Bahama cruise. And then Xander and I are going to make our way down to Miami and take an Eastern Caribbean cruise, like a four night Eastern Caribbean cruise. And then February, the three of us are flying to Rome Ooh. and doing a Mediterranean cruise. 
I like a seven day Mediterranean and then Marty's flying home. Xander and I are going to bebop around Europe. We're thinking we're going to go to um, Switzerland mm -hmm. and learn to ski and hopefully not break legs. <laughs> Hopefully not. I'm going to be on the, like little bunny slopes with the three-year-old. <laughs> Switzerland's not cheap, so don't don't break anything there. <laughs> and, uh, and we're going to make our way up to um, the UK. And I'm going to see, like, go and hang out with one of my coffee patrons up there. Okay. And Xander's going to get to hang out with a friend of his that's there. And then eventually we're going to make our way down to Barcelona. And then Xander and I are going to take a 14-day transatlantic from Barcelona to Florida. Wow. And, uh, and then I think Marty's going to drive down, meet us there, pick us up. We're going to drive down to Miami and then hit, hop on another cruise. <laughs> oh, dear. That's... Most of these cruises are free, by the way. Like I'm not paying for most of these cruises because you've been you've been cruising a lot, and so uh, I spend too much time in the casino, so they want to keep me coming back to the casino yeah. because oh. they're not taking enough money, and so <laughs> they want to keep giving me cruises, so I keep going into the casino. <laughs> so like, hey, that's the trick. That's the trick. <laughs> the trick that's is the trick. to spend your time in the casino and playing and all that without losing a buttload of money <laughs> that's the trick that's the trick <laughs> that's the trick because if you lose a buttload of money it's not a free cruise you've paid for it yeah <laughs> but uh if you can manage to like not lose a lot it's okay like from that one cruise i i gained three cruises that i get to go on wow one is at the four-day eastern caribbean with a balcony Mm -hmm. um, like a room with a balcony one is a seven day any cruise uh, i get that i get to pick that in march um a seven day cruise and then the other i can't remember if it's a seven day or nine day the one we picked but it's a uh, out of venice and we're gonna do a greek isles and that one i get a junior suite um with the balcony it's a bigger room, bigger balcony. And on that one, I'll get like a hundred or two hundred dollars onboard credit. And they're gonna give me seven hundred and fifty dollars to play in the casino. Wow. I'm just looking fun. at Krista's comment. I've also never been on a cruise, so they're fun. Jealous. They're fun. Yeah, I have I have a, a couple of friends who are like they've been cruising for a very long time, and you know you get like rewards programs too. So they a lot they go on so many cruises because they just have the status within the cruise line. So like the more you do it, the more perks you get and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, I get a lot of perks with, with Carnival, and uh, now I'm starting to get more. I'm starting to get some perks with uh, Royal Caribbean because of what I did in the casino this this time. <laughs> I didn't know about your gambling life, Melanie. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, there is not Successful a casino anywhere gambling close life. To me. Yeah. Sorry. yeah. There is not a casino anywhere close to me, and that's a very good thing. Um, <laughs> I love to play in the casino. It's, I, it's so much fun. My mom was a blackjack dealer for a long time. <laughs> Instead of playing Go Fish, we would play blackjack. <laughs> I mean, it's an awful cool. money. Playing them young. But uh, I I love it. It's fun. Um, but I can tell you, it, it can it can be a little scary when um you're not doing well, and uh, stay away from slot machines because they are just money eating machines. Mm -hmm. I do much better at the tables. So like, Marty gave me a limit. Okay, so he's like, this is how much you can play with. Smart man, Marty. I know, right? He's like, it's just hours of my life. But uh, he normally, it's a much smaller limit normally, but it, we go on much smaller cruises normally. This is 17 days. So, um, so he, I got a bigger limit. And he's like, try not to lose it though, okay? <laughs> and so I had $3,000 to play with. And because of, messing around with too many slot machines 
which gets you a lot of points, but not a lot of money. <laughs> Messing around with too many slot machines. That 3000 at one point had gotten down to only a hundred and something dollars. Yikes. Yeah. Yikes. Marty was just like, um, stay away from the slot machines. <laughs> yeah. And so I, I went back to playing at the tables and I built that back up to, uh, like over over two thousand, like twenty three hundred. Wow, from a hundred and something. <laughs> nice. So in the end, I I ended I ended up only losing seven hundred and forty dollars, but they're giving me seven hundred and fifty on the other cruise. So, yeah. well, no, there so you go. Even yeah. <laughs> and three cruises. So. <laughs> Alicia would love to go on an Alaskan cruise. I can wow. say they are wonderful, but Melanie had a bad time on an Alaskan cruise. It was, it was at the end of the cruise that we had the bad time because we all had COVID and got trapped in Canada and couldn't come home. Oh, I forgot about <laughs> and, that. Yeah, and your luggage too. Like, wasn't there, like, you didn't get oh, your yeah. luggage back? Oh, yeah. No, my luggage took forever to come home, like weeks. <laughs> and when it came back, it was broken. <laughs> This girl's got oh, some, some issues. Bad. <laughs> you have some issues with, with Canada. <laughs> yeah. 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 Alicia says, keep going Carnival. I got <laughs> stock purchased through them. <laughs> I have over 100 days on Carnival. I'm platinum. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, and yet, Alicia's never been on a cruise. Huh. If you, if you go on a Carnival cruise, you can let them know you have stock in wow. them and you can actually get some perks. By owning stock. I learned that That's this pretty cruise. Cool. I need to like buy some stock in Carnival and Royal Caribbean <laughs> and stuff. Also, MSC Cruise Lines. That's the one we're doing our Mediterranean cruise on. They will reward ma like whatever tier you're at on any other cruise line. Whatever points you have or on, on any other one. They'll match it. So you don't start at the bottom with them. Like I got to carry over all of my carnival time. Lots so of smart marketing here. Yeah. 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 Well, Alicia says good to know. So when Alicia does go on that cruise, she'll be able to use her uh her her clout for her owning. Clout. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Drew said uh his book is gonna cover the true crime prompt for uh Good Girls Guide to Murder. Oh, because there is an element of it's based on true crime in the story, right? Mm. Like She's trying to figure out a true crime situation. Minefield's debut novel prompt. Uh, maybe I can read more next sprint. I only got like four pages because my mother-in-law called me. <laughs> and RC's here. Hey, RC. <laughs> and then back to what we were saying before. Don says, my trip next week and I probably won't get much reading in either except for the car ride there. I can't read in the car unless it's like an audiobook. I get sick. Yeah. I don't have a problem with reading um, in the car as a passenger. I'll do that a lot. Um, and when Marty and I are going somewhere and he's like, he wants to listen to the book too. Um, I'll put an audio book on and I'll, I'll like follow along. If I have the book with me, I'll follow along in the book because it keeps me from zoning out and falling asleep. Like when I'm driving, I have no problem with listening to an audio book and staying focused on it. Mm -hmm. But if I'm not doing anything and I'm just sitting there, I'll start scrolling on my phone or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I'm missing the story because mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not paying enough attention or mm -hmm. I'll just be sitting there and fall asleep because it's soothing. <laughs> so relaxing. But yeah. I can see that. His music or podcasts or whatever, then I can, Either listen to something or physically read. I think because I get car sick, I've always gotten car sick, like ever since I was a little kid. I, ever since I started driving, I just prefer to drive. So I, I typically am the driver because it's just what I prefer. And so when I sit in the passenger seat, I usually, I don't want to, I just get like, I get bored, like, because I'm just used to driving and it's a very different experience being a passenger. Mm hmm. So I could see like falling asleep or just getting distracted by other things. Yeah. yeah. Everything. <laughs> Instagram, just scrolling, endlessly yeah. scrolling. <laughs> have you ever gotten to the bottom of Instagram? I think I have. <laughs> I, haven't. 
<laughs> Never. <laughs> I can't just listen to audio. I have to follow along in the physical. And I can't do that. Like, I, I love that everybody can do that. The immersive reading. I'm the opposite. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, if, if, I, if I do that, I can... I can go a whole lot faster mm -hmm. um, with the audiobook. Yeah, I've recently um, found. Yeah, I can I can do a whole lot faster thing. reading along and listening to it than if I'm just listening to it because sometimes if you're just listening to it, you can go like it can almost sound like. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, if you're following along, you can see what those words are. Mm -hmm. So it, mm -hmm. it and you know keeps you in place. So yeah, I read probably a whole speed higher yeah. if i'm if i'm physically reading unless I'm, of course i'm doing that with marty because then he's got to listen a lot slower than uh, me. i listen fast and my husband's like how can you understand that <laughs> like, please can we slow it down i'm like yeah i, I always start it like slower and then as it's playing i'll gradually Increase it a little at a time. He doesn't. I'm like, just let me know if it gets too fast for you, and I'll slow it um. down. <laughs> so I just keep like I've tried like going right into two, like two times speed, and he's like, no, you no, no, no. can't, you can't just jump me in like that. <laughs> and so I'll go down to like 1.2 or 1.3, and then gradually bring it up. Let's Eventually, we get know. over two, but not always. Alicia says, I'm with Amy. I can't immersive read. I don't like audiobooks very much. I don't like the story being told to me. I think I like to think of the characters mm -hmm. and the voice of my choosing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that sometimes, especially with the romance, is a problem for me. So I have a hard time reading, especially if it's like only one narrator doing a romance. I have a much harder time enjoying uh, a right. romance audiobook then. But um, if there's a male and a female. Boy, yeah, then it's better. An audiobook. Yeah. 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 I, I also don't really mind so much when it's just a female narrator, but I've had <laughs> it's awful. The male narrator. A male narrator that did all the parts and tried to do like a slightly different voice for the female character. And I'm like, no, just just say it in your your guy voice is fine. Just don't 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 be like this. You know, trying to like talk really high pitch. Trying to talk like a girl. Yeah, you know, like a guy trying to fake a women woman's voice, and it does not sound good. That's what yeah, it was. Awkward. That's what it sounded like, and it was just like, oh, this is I don't like it. <laughs> Quit it. Oh yeah. yeah, especially for a romance, for me, like that's even worse. What were you gonna say, Becca? I was just looking at Alicia's. I like listening to nonfiction on audio too. I like listening to all my books on audio. What are we? Two point two five. Dawn's at one point eight. Do you love a full cast? Oh yeah, and you know, okay, so uh, that's the Thief of Sorrows. The audio, the narrator, of that she is good, and her different voices she's using. Because I listened to another one recently, which what had a lot of different accents in it the accents were so terrible the british accent like you think dick van dyke has a bad british accent it's nothing compared to how bad it was in this audiobook so this one i'm listening to right now like she's doing an amazing job with all the different accents and differentiating the characters with her different voices and that doesn't always happen you know where they're that good at it so big fan of the the narrator on this i'm kind of like i got to just listen to more Books narrated by this particular narrator. <laughs> oh, yeah. See what else she's yeah. done? Yeah, yeah. The, the one I'm listening to now, like Sweet Black Waves, I'm I, I'm not listening to it nearly as fast as I would normally listen because of the accents. Mm -hmm. um, but they're not; they don't sound like fake accents. But like, there's very, I'd say Irish, maybe Scottish kind of accents. Um, so that fast, like listening to that fast just kind of goes, uh, yeah, <laughs> so I have to listen slower when the accents are strong. Yep. Yeah. Me too. Is that cross stitch Becca? I, yeah, it is. Sorry. I hope is you don't, it, I'm not paying attention it? because I, no, it. not at all. I was just, it's just Owl. so cute. Making little, owls. I love cross stitch. It's so cute. I'm just doing all the black details now. So. Getting close. <laughs> At least tried going up, tried to go up a few octaves too. Oh, th that seems like it would be rough because then doesn't it sound more and more like a chick chipmunk? 
I think she's referring to the man trying to go up a few. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, not what you're okay. Referring. Thanks, Lee. <laughs> mm -hmm. So cute. All right, let's do another sprint because I'm, my book is getting very exciting. <laughs> I have less than an hour of my book, so I'm. I'm oh, oh no! I need it done. <gasps> is that a part of your case, Amy? The I just saw your case too. That is very cute. Yeah, you want it. That's very cute. I don't remember where I got it, so I'd have to the remember. Sticker on mine, which. Oh, that's cute. I like. Yeah, I love the stickers. I love those book stickers. Mine is oh, that's cute. huge. It's not supposed to be this huge. I just have it that packed with all stuff in it. It's yeah, my falling apart. It's, it's yeah. It's it's yeah. Not my friend Shell like has that. a wallet one too. She loves it. Well, she doesn't carry a purse have, at like, all. Two cards on each side, and I have like fifteen. <laughs> it just stretches more. more and more. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I distracted us. Mm -mm. Oh. There we go. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Oops. There we go. 45 oh. minutes. Woohoo! Then now you can see it. A big one. <laughs> All right. I'll be almost done with my book by then. Oh, let's see. So 45 is what? Uh, 815 ish? 816? No, 30. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> I can't, you know, it's funny because I'm getting much better at my mental math because I'm teaching fifth graders mental math, but I don't, when I'm on sprints, I'm really terrible at it. <laughs> so many people are watching. <laughs> exactly. I'm just, just terrible at it. So. <laughs> I want to assure all of you that I'm doing a much better job with my fifth graders than I'm doing with you. <laughs> Were you with kids today, Amy? Huh? Were you with kids today? No, today was a purple day, which is a professional development day. Oh, yeah. And um, because I'm not technically started, my teacher, my CT, my cooperating teacher was like, you know, you stayed for the cur curriculum night this past, I stayed until like 7 p.m. for the curriculum night this last Tuesday because I wanted to see like what we tell the parents about curriculum. And she just was like, you're not getting paid for this and you're technically not even started really. So just take the day off. Yeah. <laughs> so I did. It's Snicker, he's so cute. He got so sweet. Big. Is that in a that short? Huh? Is he a golden doodle? Yeah, he's a Barrett. little Snicker doodle. Barrett, I have a golden doodle too. Barrett, come here. Oh, my Bernie's mountain. I always hear Barrett with the the um his. Ding, 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 this is Bonnie, the Bernie's oh. mountain dog mixed with a poodle. Oh, that's the one, Bonnie. Okay, Bonnie. I was Bonnie. like, I always hear Bernie doodle. Bear. I always hear one of them. Bear. Come here. With your videos down. in the background. Uh huh. They're always Bear. Come here, Bonnie. Move. <laughs> Bear it. <She> can. <laughs> Bear started uh, puppy Prozac today, and it's really helping. <laughs> right, Bear. You're so cute. Cool. Cuties. Oh no! Okay. All the books are gonna fall. Okay, let's start. <laughs> Okay, so let's go with 35 then. And cute babies. But <laughs> let's see. All right. Oh, let's see what everybody said. You. Uh, just need to get some stickers for mine. Oh, look at the babies. Oh, they're so cute. That's how big Snickers going to get, huh? Um, he Those? could get a lot bigger. It depends. Yeah, Barrett's small for her. She should be fifty to seventy, but she's only forty-five. So, mm. oh, she's like a medium. Yeah, but she's technically full size. She had parvovirus when she was a puppy, and I think it stunted her growth. Okay, sorry. We keep talking. <laughs> oh no! Oh, Bella. Poor Bella. That's my Bella. Oh. My little one-eyed bandit. Poor little sweet thing. Okay. Yeah, they're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Happy reading. We'll come back to the comments in a bit. Although I think Krista said, she'll, I will not make it to the sprint. It's already 1045. So I'm going to read till I start sleeping. Well, have a good night, Krista. Night, Krista. Night. Okay. All right. Happy reading all.
There we go. Welcome back. Your face, Amy. It's just getting scary. It's yeah. just getting too dangerous. It's. I didn't realize this was um, Romeo and Juliet. Oh, well, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Pretty much. Oh, goodness. Yes, yeah, making me very nervous. I'm getting very nervous. Mm -hmm. How is everybody else's reading? Stress filled over here. <laughs> Emotion filled over here. Same. <laughs> I finished. I finished my book, and oh I am almost. I'm almost in tears. I'm just like. It's the first book in a series, and the way that this one ended, I'm just like. That's not right. <laughs> oh. That's always the worst, especially. <sighs> it's my coffee patron, like, buddy read, too. And I'm like, so I just finished the book. And that's all I said. Well, let's see. I was a bit behind on the... Okay. okay. Shell, Shell said wallets the best. Love purses, not phones. Yeah, Shell does not care a purse. I lose purses, not phones. Okay. 11.30. Oh, late. Let's see. Okay. Mental math. That's awesome. So many people can't do math in their head anymore. Yeah, I've had to rebuild my... Well, because when you become a teacher, elementary school teacher, you have to take math courses that are basically... You're retaking elementary math, but with an eye to teach yeah. and I realized I didn't really have a good a good um, foundation in math at all that's why I struggled with math for most of my years so I've been rebuilding my foundation but you know it takes time I'm old now so <laughs> like it's you know it's not easy to do when you're older yeah yeah I love the dogs I have a spoiled, is it Samoyed or Samoid? Samoyed? Samoid? I think Samoid sounds right. I think I've heard that before. Samoid. No clue. Hey, Molly, welcome. Yep. Well, hi, Kristen, Becca. I think Chris has gone to bed now, though. Yes. Uh, let's see, it looks like someone has hi, Snickers Becca. back home. <laughs> um, so, how was uh, Snickers? Uh, training. Oh my gosh, she was amazing. She really like so. You know, a long time ago, Einstein went to training, and we were not really very happy with how his training went. And so, actually, we're gonna we're gonna be sending him to go and get some more training from her because she she's fantastic. And I got to I get um the whole time we were gone, I was getting. Um, Instagram updates from her. And so I was sharing them on my story mm -hmm. of his training. And yeah, she's she's fantastic. And then she came to bring him home and like spent a couple of hours going through stuff with me and um, working on stuff here with him. And then um, she comes back uh, about two weeks after and checks in and, you know, has some one-on-one -on -one training here to see if he needs any like refresher on anything. That's awesome. Yeah. That's yeah, he's, cool. doing, he's doing really, really good. He's a very good boy. <laughs> and Einstein, Einstein needs a little extra. <laughs> Einstein's a little bonker still. <laughs> oh my God, I see. read this. I'm like, ow. <laughs> Took the sprint to finally cook dinner. Pro tip, if you're wondering how many times you need to wash your hands between cutting poblano peppers and taking out your... Con <gasps> the answer is not to. Oh, no. Oh, the no. The answer is many, 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 many. your many eyes times. are okay. That's oh. horrifying. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not good. Oh, dear. I'm sorry about that. Um, Alicia had said, I got stopped in the middle of a crazy chapter. Yeah, I'm... I, I, I was making, I think I was making faces during these sprints because I just, I'm like, so like, I'm just, I'm stressed. It's very stressful. And, you know, you just, it's one of those books where things just, just yeah, there's, and you just can't believe and you just don't want to, like, you want to keep going, but you also don't want to keep going because you don't want to see how bad it can get because it's going to get worse. 
<laughs> so the, the, this is these are the updates I put into the Discord for my like buddy read, mm-hmm. and um, so I was like, I'm in that chapter. It's the last chapter right now. And WTF exclamation point question mark over and over again. And then I was like, that better be a dream. And then OMG. And then, <laughs> well, I just finished the book. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to read the next one for sure. I'm currently teary-eyed on in oh. live on Amy's channel. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just rough. Like, reading books that are rough, especially, like, on a live. I'm not yet crying, but I'm, I can see where this is going to go. I don't like it. I don't want it. I don't want it, Becca. I don't want it. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, Alicia finished a book the other day where, where she actually ugly cried. For the last probably Time, 50 maybe? pages. She oh. said, oh, yeah, there. Yeah, she said her phone isn't working. Okay. Yeah, see, that's, you know, I have been crying off and on reading things lately, but I don't think it's necessarily the book. I think it's just my emotions. <laughs> and so, like, little mm-hmm. random things will, like, hit me, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> and it's, like, not actually a sad scene. <laughs> 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 it's your life. <laughs> it's me. It's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's the chaos you know. of life, and it's, it's like it's gotta come out somehow. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, Drew's on page two hundred in a good girl's guide to murder. I was on page one thirty when we started the sprints. If I finish this, I would have four books left on my TBR. Nice. That is awesome. Hey, I have twenty nine more to go. <laughs> 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 a Sam Wade is basically a fluffy all white husky. Mm. Okay, yeah, that's what I figured. I, I've seen them before. I just didn't know how to pronounce the name. <laughs> I'm also dressed with my book. Oh, stressed <laughs> with my book, so it's hard to put down. I think I'm buying book two as soon as I finish book one. Yeah, mm. I've heard really good things about a good girl's guide to murder. That I that's agree. one that even people who don't typically like YA have loved that that series. So she has another like she got had another book come out called Five Survive. Mm-hmm. And I pre-ordered that one because everybody loved A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. And everybody was like, yes, 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 read it. And I have that. I just haven't read it yet. But I pre-ordered Five Survive. And that was one of our, I think it was when we were doing the Thrills and Chills book club thing. And it was not good. That's what I've heard. I was that, very, that very disappointed. Good. And I was just yeah. like. I'm still going to give a good girl's guide to murder a shot because everybody says it's so good, but don't go into five survive thinking it's going to be anything as good as that. Cause it's not. Okay. <laughs> That's a bummer for her. Like having such a successful series and then all of a sudden having a, a stand standalone come out. Oh, a standalone come out. That it's doesn't do right as well. She's got another one coming out. Something about, uh, <laughs> like a missing case of something it's like a true crime kind of book um i forget what it's called but i happened to see it when i was like looking at stuff on amazon earlier because you know i need more books <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't know about that no <laughs> I, think so. I think i ordered like four more <laughs> i really don't need any more books ever <laughs> I, I don't even think I could honestly read every book that I own in my lifetime. I don't know that that would be possible. That I be definitely possible. have a lot that I haven't read. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're doing pretty good, Becca, aren't you? With my... Have, you're, you're pretty good about not having too many um, books on your TBR. Yeah. Um, it's like in the 200s. Okay. I mean, it's, mine's four hundreds. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's not as bad as it could be, but I would love it to be less. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I honestly don't know where mine is at at this point because I have had to unhaul a lot, but it was in the two thousands. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. so I'm like, yeah, I'm never gonna get all of it right because I keep buying more too. It's so fun to buy books. <laughs> it is. I'm like, I have I have three hobbies when it comes to books. I have book shopping. 
I have book collecting, and I have book reading. <laughs> All different. Three different things, yeah. <laughs> Completely different hobbies. Uh, Dawn's book actually got a little better. Good. That's good. Uh, Drew says, my wind we have here keeps moving our screen door despite it being locked, and I'm home alone, and it's a little creepy. Yeah. Our you can see that. We get some really bad wind. Here where I live, I'm on a peninsula, and sometimes our wind gets up to like 60, 70 miles an hour and we have giant trees here. So really, really big trees. And it gets really scary because I'm like, one of these trees is going to fall in the house. Cause there's just a lot of really big trees and it sounds like a freight train. Oh, and I just, I'm not, I'm not a fan of wind. I'll, I, I'm not a fan of that. Uh, I usually only dog cry when dogs get hurt or something along those lines. Yeah. That's sad too. Um, I stopped burning a lot <laughs> to read a whole five pages. Oh. Yikes. I love a good girl's guide to murder series. First book was the best in my opinion. I'm a fan of good girl's guide to so hard to hear this. Probably about five survive. About five about survive. Five survive. It's mixed format novels. So I think you'll love it, Mel. Mm. Audiobooks for good girl's guide have full cast and you get the podcast, mm. which brings, Ooh, maybe. Oh, I bought the book. So maybe not. I mean, I have the book, but I'll probably listen to it, too. And, you know, just because you bought the book doesn't mean you can't listen to the audiobook. If you can't do the full immersion, you can just listen to the audiobook and be like, I read this book and hold it up. It's <laughs> nice to have the prop. Yeah. <laughs> <The> videos. <laughs> Alicia says, I have a lot unread, too. I get too many from the library and not enough read from my own TV. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're f trying to fulfill prompts. <laughs> The mm -hmm. problem with TBR games is you're like, I should be reading all the books that I own, but I got to fulfill these props that are, you know. Yeah. So then library, 600 and red. You're doing better than me. Well, you know, better as meaning you have more than me. <laughs> Way to go, Don. Nice job. Nice job, Don. Hurricane coming through, Drew, because me too. Oh. Don has 50. I have 30 on mine for the month <laughs> <laughs> not all together but for the month <laughs> it's a good thing i have the extra large tbr cart yeah I, oh i love tbr carts too i have the audiobook too i've been sitting on my audio uh, audible account for a while read almost exclusively ebooks which makes the oh i read almost exclusively ebooks which makes the a thousand unread books feel less guilty. Yeah, they're not taking much space up. <laughs> uh, I don't think so, but could be wrong. Oof. Please, everyone stay safe. Mm -hmm. I started the year with oh. 50 as well. And, oh, wow. Yeah. So you're kind of like consistently you've gained, buying the same you've amount. You've gained 47 books is what we're saying. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I'm in from... Uh, what's Virginia? Virginia. Dawn. And that's what's coming through now for me. She's talking to Dawn. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Becca, you're wonderful because my know. brain is not. <laughs> my brain's in it. I got it. Good. Your brain's in it. Um, yes. Okay. Well, that's scary. Alicia, please stay safe. Really? Well, I mean, obviously you don't have any control over that, but I would prefer for you to stay safe. I have the extra large cart too. What is the different? How is there one that's extra large? What it? What makes it longer? Really? Yeah, it's not like the norm, like the normal size. It's like almost twice as long. Oh yeah, it's it's nice. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you I gotta go through and clean up my cart right now, but wouldn't it be terrible to have a Snicker. Long Snicker, like at one point, lay was laying on the bottom shelf of it. Oh my gosh. He, I think he's too big for that now. He got he got he grew a lot while he was while we were gone. Drew. <laughs> Don't blame me, Virginia too. I'm, the best, I'm not sure. Yeah, probably not the hurricane totally here in Nevada. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's I don't think that's possible. <laughs> That'd be a gigantic storm. Yeah. I'm What's just wild is we occasionally do get some hurricane weather here. And I'm in Tennessee. Mm-hmm. It just it depends on where it, where and how far in it goes. Yeah, we do occasionally get some, and it's 
it can be pretty gnarly. Uh, the hurricane weather for us tends to be possible tornado weather. Sure. Mm. That's scary. I am from California, so I'm used to earthquakes. Give me an earthquake any day over a tornado. Tornadoes scare the heck out of me. I, I don't know what to do with a tornado. <laughs> having having lived in several different places, you know, we lived in New York, and so we've we've done the blizzards, and we've lived in California. We experienced the earth. I, I experienced an earthquake while sleeping on the couch, and that was wild because I had never experienced one before. And I was taking a nap on the couch, and Becca was like a year or two old. You know, she was little and she was in her room taking a nap and my sister was visiting and she was in, an, I think Becca's room taking a nap. And all of a sudden it felt like somebody picked up the foot of the couch and dropped it. And I was like, I thought my sister had like tried to, was trying to wake me up. I was like, what the crap is that? My sister comes in. What was that? I mean, yeah, they're unnerving, but they don't happen very often. Mm -hmm. So it like, it's, it's a, natural disaster that can be really scary and they can get really big and be incredibly scary but the really bad ones don't happen very often so like to me i'm more used to that and then i like i lived in texas for a little while and at one point i woke up at 3 a.m to an alarm on my phone said it said tornado imminent take cover now and i was like <laughs> and we you just take in the hallway because that was the only place where there was no windows, mm. and we were just sitting it, there it like necessary. Get in a bathtub and put a mattress <laughs> over you. you. Just take over. <laughs> oh, I did. And luckily, it it didn't touch down right where we were, but it was close, you know. And so mm. I just, but I, I didn't know what to do. Whereas I grew up with earthquake drills and stuff, so I knew I know what to do for those. So it was interesting. Here it's we've got some winter. kind of wild weather because it's like. We get a touch of all of it. Surprisingly, we're on a fault line here. We've had earthquakes, not like really, really strong ones, but we we've had enough to f even feel them. Um, definitely tornadoes. That that's the most common thing. The hurricanes, not so much, just because we are pretty far in. But depending on where you know, we can get some nasty storms with those crazy hurricane winds. Um, and it can cause damage. We don't have blizzards so much, but we do get mm -hmm. ice storms, which mm -hmm. are kind of worse. Like if you're in a place like in New York, when they, they have a blizzard, they're kind of, you know, prepared for that. Here, everything coats in ice mm -hmm. and becomes very dangerous because it breaks off, you know, power lines snap, trees snap, you know, you it's it's a big problem so that's like the bigger threat in the winter for us yep. but Just tornadoes blizzards. is our biggest thing blizzards thunderstorms the polar vortex that's all we yeah get. But you got <laughs> it bad a, like, like two years ago right yeah, it was really, really bad ago, my husband was off school for like two weeks because of how cold it was dude you have like the night i think it was the 19th and the 20th there was that there was some kind of like solar flare thing and people were able to see like all the way down to like nebraska could see um the yeah. northern lights yeah were you able have you been able to see i them? still have not seen the northern lights mm. I, I, should, didn't either. I should be able to see them but i don't i don't get outside in the dark much because of children hmm we tried seeing them when we were like in Iceland and stuff, but, and other people on the ship did see them and got pictures and mm. stuff. We just kept missing it. Yeah, I have a friend <laughs> we would try, we would, we would finally give up and go in and then people would see it. Or we would, we, you know, we would come too late or something and like, <laughs> they're like, oh yeah, we saw it, but it's, it's raining now. So you can't see it anymore. <laughs> Like, they say it's easier to capture it especially in in areas where there's a lot more light like it's easier to see it if you're closer to the north pole but in areas where there's a lot of night light pollution it's easier to capture it with a camera than it is to actually see yeah. it well the thing is too like we, we were you know away from things because we were out in the freaking ocean and we were like we went into the arctic circle <laughs> literally um we actually all have like these certificates 
like blue nose certificates because it's what you get when you uh cross the arctic circle and uh what what people explained when they saw it was it doesn't like with your eyes it looks like a white streaks like it doesn't look like the colors that you see mm. and then they take the picture and it mm. shows all the, you can see all the colors yeah these were pictures from my friend Okay, so the picture, the color, so you'd probably see more of that white part yeah. that's down there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, that's probably more like what you see with your actual eyes. Yeah. And like all the cool swirls and stuff people will see, uh, it looks more like white streaks. Okay. And then when you take the picture, you see all those cool like green and pink swirls and whatever. But we didn't even see any freaking white streaks. We tried. Yeah. Yes. I, had, you saw white I had all clear I had my phone precipitation I had a time lapse camera <laughs> and I had my vlog camera. I brought all I, I would I would get super bundled up because it's freaking cold in the Arctic Circle in the middle of the night on the ocean. <laughs> all bundled up and I'm sweating getting to the outside. Set up all the cameras and I'm looking all over the place and never see anything. <laughs> okay. I did this well, very just gonna nights, have to go back. Like midnight, one o'clock in the morning. Mm. <laughs> you're just gonna have to go back that's all mm -hmm. and actually least, stay somewhere like in iceland yeah that would be really cool i'm originally from michigan and i was used to snow and ice the first year i moved to virginia there was an earthquake and i was freaking out like what the hell was that mm -hmm. yeah it's scary when you're not used to it it is i recently it was funny because i went back to visit my my brother and my my dad have moved down to Los Angeles area and I went to visit them because I lived in Los Angeles for a little while for like four years and I was visiting them and we went to a my friends my my, my not my friends my brother's friends had a party so we went to the party we we're all sitting there and all of a sudden there was an earthquake on my it was a welcome back earthquake for Amy mm -hmm. and we were sitting there just kind of relaxing because it was a small earthquake, but all the people who weren't from the area were all running out to the fields and they were like, what do we do? What do we do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> My brother and I are like, it's fine. It's not a big one. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. But, I'd have no but understandably, if you don't, if you're not used to it, the whole ground shakes. Like it is an experience. It's not, you so, know. Out of all of the disaster, like those kind of things, I would much rather be around an earthquake <laughs> because we, we've experienced uh, like, yeah, earthquake or blizzard. Blizzard, you just, you know, as long as you have power, you're okay. But, um, I love a blizzard. Ice, <laughs> ice is terrible and tornadoes yeah, are terrible. Tornadoes yeah. are terrifying. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah. No, mm -mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, and then. Another bad one is, are the fires. Uh, that, I know that was a thing. When yeah, we lived in California, and that's, that's very common in California. It's be, it's very common in Washington here now, too. So um, tornado warning I was used to in Michigan, just get to the basement. Yeah, it, 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 we didn't have a basement in Texas. <laughs> ice storms are awful. Yeah, ice would seem like, because it gets all over everything. And, you know, like you said, crack. It, you know, it gets it, thick all over it, everything. Yeah. Like I remember, I remember when we had this really bad ice storm when I was a teenager, and everybody, everybody's power was out for like weeks. And I remember me and my mom and my sisters, we went to one of my mom's friends' house because they had uh, a gas oven, <laughs> and so that that's how they were heating. But they had a two-story house, and they had to close off the top story and keep like the door plugged up and stuff because a tree had broken and went through their roof. And so they had this big oh. gaping hole in their roof that was, you know, the inside of their house was icing over, but downstairs we had gas heat and everybody was like sleeping on, on uh sleeping bags and stuff all over the place. Cause and it was like, I forget how many families were all crammed in the downstairs of this one house. It was bad. It was like That's two good. weeks or something where nobody had power. Hmm. Oh, that's a long time, too. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Uh, I grew up in Las Vegas, and in addition to the earthquake drills, we had nuclear waste drills at one point. Yikes. Staying inside and taping windows and fence mm -hmm. totally would work, right? 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. That's that's one I've never had to experience. Nope, me either. I mean, Marty works at a nuclear plant. <laughs> we don't have that. <laughs> I mean, great. That's funny. Not, that's yeah. nuclear waste thing here, but yeah, yeah, that's wild. That's kind of scary. <laughs> yeah, that's scary. Let's see. Our eyes can't see color in the dark, which is why it's white gray. I'm really glad someone warned me that they wouldn't be colorful in person. I would have been disappointed. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess that does make sense, especially when it's really dark. Yeah, it's it 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 would like had had I not heard from these other people that were taking the pictures that that's how it was I, I probably also would have been mm -hmm. pretty disappointed actually now that I think about it there's a good chance that I might have seen it and not taken pictures because I didn't know oh. what I was mm -hmm. seeing mm -hmm. that's possible too yeah you ever watch show the nine show the, mm -hmm. do you ever watch the show 911 they show all kinds of natural disasters never <laughs> well, I haven't even heard of it. That mm -mm. sounds scary. We had to have a generator for hope. How? For how much I <laughs> You know, I'm usually much better at this. Today, I'm not. <laughs> okay, I'm pre-screening them for you so I can help you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Becca. <laughs> Wait. Um, yeah. A generator is always smart to have. My uncle and my aunt have one. So if there's ever any big things that happen here, we can go over to their house. We're lucky because two years ago, well, no, la well, yeah, two years ago, we had really, really bad flooding. And where we live turned into an island, even though it's not an island, it's oh a peninsula. Gosh. And we're high enough up that we didn't get affected by it. But a lot of people that are living in the low, lower lying areas, just their house got just destroyed. Mm -hmm. And it was bad. It was, you know, and so, but we're lucky because if there's ever a big problem, we have my aunt, my uncle down the street and they've got a lot of food stored up and they've got the generators so we can just go down there. Yeah. I'd be afraid to try to put a generator in here because it would blow our house up. You'd find <laughs> even more issues. <laughs> You're going to have the generator. The generator would explode. <laughs> they'd, hit, they'd hit the gas line and the whole house would go. You're not allowed to have anything else happen in that house, Mel. Not anything else. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> oh. I used to live across the street from a hospital, so we didn't oh, lose power, funny. but I don't. Oh, that's nice. Huh. So, uh, I mean, I know hospitals have, like, all the super, super yeah. generators and stuff. But how does it, like, keep you from not losing power? Unless you're somehow attached to the generator. Or maybe it's like a special grid, like they have their own individual grid or something like that. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. The funny thing is we live further away from the city, but for some reason our grid is better than the city because the city was out, like, they'll be out, Bellingham will be out of, of um, they often, when we have when will lose power and we'll still have it. So like, even though it gets worse out here, we still have better power for some reason mm. or, you know, just lucky. I say that and I'm, this is going to be a bad winter. I'm sure watch we'll be out for like a month. <laughs> just jinx <jinxed> stuff. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have all like, we're going to have. Your I house is going to blow winter. away. Mel. We're going to have an ice storm. <laughs> That has a blizzard land on top of it, and it's gonna be so much extra weight that it causes an earthquake, <laughs> and our house is gonna fall no, into a it. A sinkhole, a big sinkhole. <laughs> it's gonna cause a big sinkhole in our house. It's gonna be directly under our house, and then, and then yeah. it'll be gone. <laughs> Sinkholes are scary. Yeah, that happens Ooh. in Texas and down there quite a bit, but that's scary. Let's see. My mother-in-law lives on the same grid as a major hospital and gets her power on first mm. when her power goes out. Oh, wow. that makes sense. That does make sense. And Dawn has to leave us. Yeah, it's midnight here, too. <laughs> well, how are y'all feeling? I'm good. I was tired I'm when we started, good. but I'm good now. We'll probably head out just because I have kids who will wake me up at 530 in the morning. So. <laughs> I have kids that I have to drag out of bed at, at in the afternoons. Thanks for rubbing it in. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm up for at least one more. I'm, I'm up for another sprint, but I'm getting kind of tired too, just because I haven't been sleeping so well lately. So I definitely want to do another sprint. Um, and 
Becca, I'm yeah, sure I'll you'll be going on the when you started. But thank you so much for joining. Us. Thanks yeah. for inviting me. And you're the most successful with your um, season with on Academy right now. <laughs> that's 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 bad because you. you know I'm, I'm a good student. <laughs> Always hoping. She's like, we're, we're so busy hosting, you know, <laughs> reading and yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's next perfect. next round's gonna be a whole lot easier because I've already got I've already got the whole author thing in book lined up. So and co-hosts. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> yeah, I've already Exciting. got my co-host. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> Wink, wink, wink. <laughs> oh, good night, Dawn. Glad you joined us. And Alicia's going to deny it. <laughs> okay, let's see what we're, what's happening. Oop, 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 yeah, oop. I just have to stay for the wheel spin. I know. Everybody loves the wheel. There we go. Oh, there I'm we go. That's you, it's a short one. <laughs> I'm struggling. Ah. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh. Oh, oh. 25. 25 again. Much better. <laughs> That's a fun idea. I like the wheel. <laughs> it's fun. It is really fun. It, it just makes it easier, too, but it's also fun because you get to do something a little different. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Is that a hint? Yes. No. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is a hint. <laughs> oh, the eyeballs. <laughs> Uh, thanks for letting me jump on. Hope I'll be able to catch this earlier next time. Have a great weekend. Oh, it's good to Not a subtle one. <laughs> I got reading and bones on Hulu currently. Hey, Jean. Just started the last anniversary by Leanne Moriarty. Whew. That's that percent. I really enjoyed it. It's <laughs> 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 from the workbook club. Jean's always doing workbook clubs. Well, awesome. 7%. 25 minutes to get a little bit more, Jean. Okay. I'm going to grab a graphic novel and read that so I can get that prompt knocked off. Nice. Uh, we, we made we made you feel bad. <laughs> We're saying, well, Becca's got it all done, or almost all done. <laughs> hey, I finished the book. I'm, I'm happy. It's been, I've been, I haven't finished a book in, I don't know, like a week or something. <laughs> wow. Hello! Just joined, was only able to get on right after work. Right now, after work. Right? Right? Yes. yes. Mm. <laughs> I even got yeah. the... You got it! <laughs> well, we're so, doing one more sprint for sure. Marty has this shirt, and it's like hide-and-seek champion, and it's got the Sasquatch. Oh, my Sasquatch <laughs> coffee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> His has like you know the big foot or whatever on it. It says hide and seek champion. That's awesome. That's so cute. Yeah, winner, absolute winner. <laughs> A lady looked at his shirt and goes on the cruise. She's like, "Who who is the hide and seek champion?" And and her husband is like, "Bigfoot." <laughs> Can you see him? He's right there. He's right there. Yeah, you know that guy. Like, uh... <laughs> yeah, he he was really well hidden there. <laughs> That's okay. good. Gotta get okay. Ready. Well, we'll go for 35. 25, girl. 25. No, no, I mean, till 35. Oh, through five. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you got You're it. On top. You're right. on top of it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> good night. And Thank, thank you, you so much, Becca. Yeah. Bye, Becca. Yeah. Yay. Happy reading, all. <laughs> Happy reading.
Hello. Hello. <laughs> what are you reading now? Jim and the Holograms, Volume 2, Viral. Oh, that's right. So freaking good. I was like laughing. It was so funny. So like right off the bat, they, they've finished a concert, like this whole contest thing in the first one. And they're just like, oh my goodness, so hyped. I can't go to sleep. Let's pick a movie to watch. And of course they couldn't decide. They're all like want some different kind of movie. And within like six or seven minutes, they've all passed out. And then it goes into each one of their dreams. They're in like their kind of movie that they would pick. So like Jim, um, the main one, hers is uh, like Teen Wolf. So she's Jim Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute. And then um, so she's like, you know, werewolfy. <laughs> and then we got one that's like angry Aja beyond the thunder rotunda i think it's like a mad max kind of one and then do 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 shauna wars and it's like star wars and um the ai her name's synergy she's in all of their dreams but <laughs> it's like she's talking like yoda in this mm -hmm. one try to clean it you must <laughs> fail you will hmm? <laughs> and then we've got gym babies <laughs> oh that's so cute. cute it was very cute i was i i particularly got a kick out of the uh the shauna wars one it was funny but yeah i'm about i don't know maybe a third of the way through mm -hmm. this that's good yeah it's definitely a gonna end up being a five another five star it's it's fantastic i i love this series it's like they updated jim and the holograms without making it not fit mm -hmm. you know, they, they didn't they didn't change the characters so much that this can't play out like it you know mm -hmm. like they do have cell phones and youtube and and something like netflix <laughs> But it still feels like these characters. Yeah. Which is great. Like the, I've read uh, some Buffy novels and I didn't mm -hmm. like them because of mm -hmm. how things were changed. But the characters that the characters themselves, like the feel of the this essence of these characters was not mm -hmm. the same. Yeah. Like they did this whole reboot and like instead of willow being like the quiet nerdy mousy girl in the beginning and she develops you know mm -hmm. and finds herself throughout she starts off like kind of trampy and already uh like like she, she not 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 trampy but like the outfits she wears are like almost like dark willow trampy kind of and she's already lesbian willow i mean mm -hmm. she's willow not so she's, she's already found like herself. in the future or she's no. starting out like she it's it's having like the the first one that they did of like the rebooting mm -hmm. buffy that's how she starts out mm -hmm. and so you don't get the growth of her character yeah anymore. and that that's a huge thing throughout the story is yeah. how willow grows and develops and figures herself out and the relationships she has and mm -hmm. And so it just, I read that first one and I was like, mm -mm. <laughs> they changed the essence of the characters way too mm -hmm. much that it, it, it doesn't feel like it's the same thing. This can tell me like these stories are probably not the stories that were in Jim and the Holograms, the show, mm -hmm. but this could be any new episode of them. You know, it's still the same essence. Yeah. yeah. And that's and I love it. It's fantastic. I don't know. Did you ever watch that show? I I remember probably watching it once or twice, but I was pretty young, and so I don't remember. Like I don't have a good strong memory of Jim and the Holograms. One of the things I remember back then, any cartoon like that had to have mm -hmm. um, it had to be a learning 
kind of thing. And so it would always interrupt the show with the characters. Like the characters would have like their like a commercial of oh, like you something. Usually like after school special kind of stuff too. Yeah, but it would like, be like the Jim and the Holograms characters or the whatever cartoon characters, you know, teaching you about being a good person or being friends. That's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> like more about like, you know, the kind of stuff they teach you in health ed or like, you know, yeah. if, you know, those kind of classes. Yeah, I remember um, those little like breaks that are just, like fake commercials that teach you to be a good person. Like social stuff, social, yeah. emotional kind of like, yeah, yeah. Sharing is Interesting. Sharing. <laughs> Yes. I, yeah, I don't, I mean, I, I definitely, I remember like when I see, when you were talking about it and I like see pictures and stuff, I'm like, I do remember this, but I don't remember it clearly. Cause I was, you know, I was younger and I, I don't think I watched it like regularly or anything like that. I had, I had the dolls. I had her car. I had her backstage. Jim and the, like they're, those dolls, they, they were kind of like Barbies, but maybe slightly taller and mm -hmm. they did not have like barbie feet <laughs> they had the flat feet didn't they, they? Had, like the flat feet they mm -hmm. had like you know real real feet yeah and so like you couldn't you could never use barbie shoes on jim because they were like you know barbie doesn't have real feet but jim yeah. had like real feet so if you weren't using like the gym shoes you ha you could use ken's shoes <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah. Because Ken's the only shoes They're that can go feet. Yeah. Because <laughs> Ken had real feet. Yeah, he sure did. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. <laughs> I like that. I, yeah, it was so odd. Well, uh, Barbie had real feet for people who wear high heels 24-7. <laughs> they're, they're also miniature. Like, oh. miniature. That's true. That's true. They were not totally. proportionate whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. And I had her car, which was like pink and green and stuff. And it was a convertible and it was like a, almost like a Rolls Royce looking car. And the, where the trunk is in the back, it would open up and there was like a little um, radio, like mm. AM FM radio. And they had the dial. A real one? There. Yeah. It worked? Yeah. Oh, and that's cool. Backstage. Uh, which had like you could do like open it up and it'd be dressing room and all that stuff and you could hang their little clothes up and everything but you could also plug the backstage into the car and the backstage worked as speakers that's cool yeah it was very oh, what? cool that's really cool i wish i had kept it so much but there was this one day that i don't know why i did it i had guess i had outgrown jim and barbies and all that. <laughs> i hadn't but I, for some stupid reason, decided I wanted to get the radio out of this car because I didn't need the Barbie car or whatever. You know, I didn't need. You that were done. Of... You were done with that. I wanted this radio and the speakers, and I smashed the car up trying to get the radio out. <gasps> oh no! And I, I'm just like, why did I? If I, oh my gosh! Like looking back, at I'm just like, why did I do that? Who would do that? That's awful. Don't do that, stupid. <laughs> I mean, kids. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, this was like a long... I was... I don't even think I was a teenager at that point. I was probably like 11 or 12 mm -hmm. when I when I did that. But now I'm just like, man, that would be a, like a cool thing to still have, you know? Yeah, that would be really cool. Jim didn't stick around like Barbie, so... Right. The, yeah. you know, you, that's not something that they kept making. It was a, pretty much a one and done. Yeah, there's probably not very many of those, but that would be pretty cool. I mean, and that sounds like a really cool setup. Uh huh. It was. Yeah. It was really cool. Oh, but I'm yeah, I'm sorry. Like, yeah, little Mel. What do you <laughs> think of little Mel? Mel? <laughs> I should have just ripped out. Yeah, if, if I was going to do that, I should have just gone for Teddy Ruxpin's cassette player. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I had a Teddy Ruxpin too. Did you? you had, I didn't like, have a the, Teddy Ruxpin. The, the actual cassette would go in his tummy, and he'd tell you stories. Mm -hmm. Creepy. I wouldn't have liked that. I was scared of dolls and stuffed animals when I was not stuffed animals as much, but dolls for sure. I was definitely. I had a healthy fear. Well, not healthy fear. It was a ridiculous fear. But like, I, if I I had a doll, like I had a, a water baby, and I was very 
very gentle with it. I was very, and all my stuffed animals, I was so sweet, so kind to all my animals, all my stuffed animals, all my dolls. And if I had friends visiting and they were mean to my dolls, I was like, I'm so sorry they did that. Like they didn't mean it. Like I was, I had to make sure I kept my dolls and my stuffed animals in their best life or else they would kill me at night. <laughs> oh God. So if they loved me and I wasn't mean to them, I was oh, safe. That, that's scary. <laughs> I didn't mean, you know. <laughs> you know. I, I had um, like elementary school, possibly even pre, probably pre-elementary school. I had audiobooks. Uh, <laughs> I would get the, we, my mom had got me all these books and they were like these little, not, they're not the golden ones, but it was, they were like a little paper, floppy paperbacks, mm -hmm. but each one, they were like mm, this big. Okay. And each one came with a flim, kind of almost flimsy uh, record. It was like this oh, big. Uh -huh. And I had a little record player that I could play and it would it would read the story. So you could like yeah. listen and read along in the book. And so I had I had audiobooks back in my in my toddler years. Yeah, we had the Disney ones for the regular um C D the record player. We had the Disney where they would read you like the Disney stories, the different uh I don't remember which ones we had, but like Jungle Book and stuff like that. It would actually read you the story on the on the yeah. record player. I, mine wasn't like full, it was like a smaller a little though. Player. That's cool. And yeah, the records were like this big. I think like the size of ones that they like are forty fives or something like mm -hmm. that. But I think they were flimsier than that. But yeah, look at like, you being yeah, ahead of the times. It's funny, <laughs> funny thinking back that. I've I've literally been listening to audiobooks since I was a toddler. <laughs> yeah, you were you you were uh this is you were made for this. <laughs> for real. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, that's I've, so cool. I've definitely been a, a reader literally my entire life. <laughs> yeah. I just started with the audiobooks from toddlerhood and then continued on. Mm-hmm. I was a pretty early reader, I'm sure. My mom and my grandma were very, they've always been big readers, not necessarily to me, but like just big readers. So like there was a lot of reading going on in our household. So I think I just, I read out of self-defense, you know, like <laughs> I read because that's what we did. <laughs> you know. Around in the background back here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leanne is here. Hi. I hope you had some great sprints. Reading the writing retreat, Betty Raid with, mm, Betty Red. Buddy Becca, with a where's, okay, thank you. I was like, where's Becca? <laughs> I'll try to jump her in earlier next time. And Alicia had to leave. She was falling asleep. I read so The Writer's Retreat. That, that was an interesting book. I've heard very mixed things. It was... It, it was not great, but it was interesting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. And Kimberly. Hi, Kimberly. I had a set of Disney books with the cassettes. Yeah, those were, yeah, they did that too later on with the cassette tapes where they, you could just, it was like, it was like immersive reading where you could mm -hmm. read the book while you're mm -hmm. listening to it. Yeah. And then there were the Teddy Ruxpin books too. Like he had the cassettes. Um, in his belly, right? Yeah. You put them in his belly. <laughs> yeah. I would not have liked that. <laughs> not his have liked moved. that. <laughs> his mouth moved. Oh yeah. No, that's horrifying. Have you ever seen Teddy Ruxpin? Oh yeah, but I I never had one, and I never would have I would have not I would have hated that I would have absolutely hated that. <laughs> Just, you know I we my uh, my grandma my nana Elma gave me a porcelain doll one year for Christmas because she was big about Christmas gifts and stuff like that, and I loved it. It was beautiful. It also stayed in the china cabinet, and I would I was afraid to walk near the china cabinet because it was in there. But it was beautiful. And as long as I didn't look it in the eyes for too long, I was okay. Because I was always afraid if I looked at a doll in the eyes for too long, it would blink at me. Because, you know, <laughs> that's like the worst thing that could possibly happen. Oh, God. You know, no. my irrational fears. <laughs> I, you know, I, I got rid of this doll that uh, 
I think would have freaked you out. <laughs> it freaked Xander <laughs> out. Because it was like this little, um, she was like cloth. Like, huh. She made it like the whole thing was cloth. And she had like these little brown curls. And she had a wind up like back. And she, it played some kind of like almost eerie lullaby music. But also like her head would turn while it was playing. oh yeah that's creepy and Xander's like that I mean, is the freakiest thing and then, <laughs> and then like eventually the the glue that held the head in place like had worn off or whatever and so like if you picked her up or something like her head would fall off <laughs> yeah I, I'm not as afraid I'm not afraid of dolls anymore you know like I'm definitely not afraid of dolls anymore but it took a long time like even to my adulthood if I was if I was in a room with, you know, porcelain dolls and stuff at night, like I remember going to visit, well, my, when my grandfather died, I went to visit his, his cousin and we stayed at her house and she's like, oh, you get the room at, in the attic. And I'm like, great. I had no problem with that. I walk to the room and along the walkway to the attic, there's porcelain dolls. I get in the attic, there's, she had a collection. It was all the way around the room. And granted, I'm an adult at this point. I'm not afraid of dolls anymore, right? But if you're sleeping in a room with 20, 30 dolls surrounding you, I finally left the room and went and slept with my aunt because I'm like, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> It's my mom creepy. had a cat, like the, the guest room at my mom's house. She had a big china cabinet full of dolls. <laughs> Yeah, that, that would have been it's just it's just unnerving, unnerving. Like it's uncomfortable. <laughs> it's yeah, uncomfortable. I, I've never minded it. I don't mind like the. Yeah, I know a lot of people have issues with like porcelain dolls and stuff. I've never really. Yeah, and if I have, I never had any problems with clowns. So like clowns aren't a problem for me, even though dolls are a problem for me or I were. I mean, dolls, not even clown. Huh? I said I have, yeah. I have a porcelain well, doll clown. That would be yeah. That would be different. <laughs> His head rattles because the back of his head broke, but it's under a hat, so it, is, <laughs> it just rattles in his head. <laughs> oh, Teddy Rex gave, gave me nightmares. That would be scary. Yeah, I don't I read a lot of thrillers. That would be freaky. Yeah, with the mouth moving. Oh, yeah. and it goes. Yeah, it was never Mel. freaky. I was just like, he's telling me stuff. Mel, dumb. Mel. <laughs> get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the only toy that ever really freaked me out was um okay so i i was never a fan of trolls mm -hmm. like the oh trolls. i love trolls i don't mind them now <laughs> but when they first came out i was just like I, I thought they were ugly and i just didn't like them and i remember that particular year that they all came out and they were huge mm -hmm. uh I told my stepdad that um, this is, I didn't call him my stepdad. He was to my dad, um, mm -hmm. but he was, he was my sister's dad, uh, but I grew up with him. Anyway, so I, I told him when he asked me what I wanted for Christmas, I was like, anything but trolls. And he heard anything trolls. So yeah. he 20 different trolls for Christmas that year. And I was not thrilled, but I was just like, Thanks, because I was also like 14, 15, something like that. <laughs> I'm like, thanks. Mm. And um, so my mom was fine with me taking, like, returning most of mm -hmm. them. Uh, I only kept one, and it was like a taller one, and it had, you know, pink hair that was like this mm -hmm. tall. And if you, it actually had like a, a sound. So, like, if you squeezed it, it would, say something and i also gave it a buzz cut like i cut so it's only his hair was only like that and um i was like that's the only one i kept and i remember <laughs> i took it to my grandmother's house and it i was showing it to somebody and the battery was starting to go low mm -hmm. in it and uh you can't couldn't replace the battery or anything and i remember getting up to like get something to drink or something and it's night and it's dark in her house. And it was still sitting out in the living room. And I walked by and it goes, hug me. He, he, he. Hug me. He, he, he. Hug me. He, he, he. 
Uh, oh gosh. I was just like, oh hell no. <laughs> it's coming for me. <laughs> I was just like, ah, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> and yet I collected trolls. <laughs> I can handle trolls. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's weird. <laughs> yes, I don't. I don't mind them now. But yeah, that one. That one. That, that, me that out. is scary. That that, that, well, that like, would have been crazy. The battery was dying. It was getting slower and lower, and it's sounding <laughs> way more creepy. And You're it was like, like, stay away. That's terrifying. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> okay, so Leanna said I. Uh, yeah, I don't read a lot of thrillers. It goes so about the writing retreat. It's not great, but I'm having fun making fun of it. Yeah. I uh, tried to backtrack my reading to get myself out of a major slump. Hear that? Uh, that. Yes, agreed. My grandma liked to crochet troll, uh, doll dresses, so I got gifted dolls a lot as a child. I get the fear. Those <laughs> eyes always followed me around the room. <laughs> yep. Yep. The book Kingdom Keepers is a scene where the small world dolls come to life and attack the main character. <laughs> it's crazy. That's fun. I have that, that series, Kingdom Keepers. Kingdom. I, I haven't read yeah, it. I, I want to read it. Uh, meanwhile, reading, is this supposed to be serious or hilarious? I'm laughing at how over the top some things are. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, from that book, The Writing Regime? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I, yeah, okay. I've heard that. I've heard that people are like, what is, it's like it almost yeah. seems too cheesy or something like that or too ridiculous or. Yeah, it, it was, it was just like, why and eh. Yeah, it's just not. Okay. Oh my gosh, I've literally had nightmares about the small world dolls doing just that. <laughs> <laughs> I love this one. I mean, I'm one of the odd people out that loves the small world uh all the small ones. Like out. when Furby batteries started. I except Furbies, you can change their batteries. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that like super, you know, people, I've heard a lot of super creepy stories about Furbies and just the different things they'll say and randomly. Oh, so when they start to die, is that why they start just randomly talking? Um, or they just start getting slower. They get they, slower and lower. And, and they just randomly of, talk at yeah. certain, I never had a Furby, so like they just randomly talk. They, they will, like, if, if you move them, or, you, you know, you, you, if you do something to, like, jar them, then mm -hmm. they wake up and they'll start talking. And if you say something, they might say something back. Mm -hmm. um, but it, you can tell it to go to sleep. Or after a certain amount of time, it'll go to sleep on its own and it shuts itself off. But uh, And it won't come back on unless you, you know, okay. do something. Uh, also, the... the you, their eyes change and stuff and they can their moods and personalities that they, they get they adjust based on how you treat them okay it, it's it's wild becca hated hers with a passion and turned it so mean they turned <laughs> mean time it is. yeah you can turn them mean their personalities are based on how you treat them. Mm -hmm. And so if you're like sweet and loving and, or, you know, funny or whatever, it'll be, it'll be like cute, hearty eyes and stuff and, and make sweet sounds. If, if you're mean to it, it, it gets like the angry eyebrows and the, the like devil eyes and, and you make angry sounds at you. <laughs> Yes. Did it keep that bad attitude all the time, or you'd have to work at it to make it like you have to be really <laughs> nice to it for a while to make it nice again? <laughs> That's messed up. Like that—that that is a, a, a toy maker who has a sick sense of humor. <laughs> I thought that I think they're great. Like I, I loved. It. I got them for both Becca and Xander. Mm -hmm. I personally had fun torturing them with the Furbies <laughs> because. It's not easy to get them to turn off and stay off, and let you know if they're being, you know, especially if they're getting moved around. Mm -hmm. And so I would keep moving them and <laughs> keep them awake. <laughs> Wait, especially when I'm like trying to get them to wake up. And so I'm yeah. having Furbies make all like, these obnoxious. Yeah. And... 
<laughs> make play music and all so kinds. You of use stuff. them as torture devices. Yeah, <laughs> I think they're cute. I think they're fine. Yeah. Uh, well, I was so like, yeah, I, I, I don't want them. I'll take them. I, yeah, it's, I don't have too much experience with furbies, which is probably okay. I mean, I like I said, I'm not afraid of dolls anymore. But like when I was younger, that would have not been something I would have been okay with. Wait, did you ever have like a tamagotchi? Oh like yeah, little... yeah, I love those. So it's like it's like the physical version of a tamagotchi. Okay. Like if you treated your tamagotchi good and you fed it and you took care of it and all that stuff, it would be a happy little pet. Whereas, yeah. Yeah, and they would be the same with the the Furby. It, it was too much you work. Could, after you could kill the Furby though. I mean, you could, <laughs> you could take a battery, it batteries out, and kill it. But <laughs> yeah, like the, the tamagotchis the tamagotchi. are too much work for. <laughs> Say it again. Sorry. Unlike with the Tamagotchi, hmm. you kill those pets by not taking yeah. care of it. You can't kill the, the Furby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that just got to be too much work after a while. What was that? I think, I think Xander, I think both Becca and Xander got to where they would like throw the Furby and just punch it. <laughs> they, they were not. Done with this. Done with this. <laughs> Let's see. Kimberly says, my sister had a robotic doll that could tell if it held, if you held it upside down and it would say, no, no, mommy. That's disturbing. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is really Don't scary. abuse me, mother. <laughs> yeah, that is horrifying. I'm telling you, some of these toy makers, they have some interesting ideas. <laughs> yeah, no, mommy, don't drop me on my head. <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> that's just, that's just sad for the doll. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. I don't know why kids. I had I had one of these too. I don't know why kids want the dolls that you have to feed. Like you literally feed them something you some co concoction you had to mix up, change diaper, and then and, and, and then they poop. I feel like they, it goes right through them, and you have to change it. I'm like, why? I mean, it's bad enough doing it in real life. Why do you want to do it in play? Yeah, just creating little mamas from a very early age. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Who said that was yeah. a good idea? <laughs> no, I, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. These toy makers, there's some really weird people out there that are toy makers. I'm still a mess up by the no, no, mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, that's really just, that's just disturbing. <laughs> oh my gosh. I remember oh, yeah. this one, like, it, not really a Barbie, but it was like a Barbie, but it was mm -hmm. like the my size Barbie. Oh. And it was like, so she was like mm, five or six years old. And so the Barbie was actually like her size. And you could hold it, hold the Barbie's hand. Mm -hmm. And when you would pull on the hand, it would make the legs go. So you could like walk holding the Barbie's hand. No, thank you. No, thank you. Good night. Good night. Yeah, no, thank you. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like, I, 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 no. I wouldn't get my kid that if I had one. I wouldn't. No, just no. <laughs> I had, the, ooh, I had the Cabbage Patch dolls. I had a lot of those. Mm, those were cute. Those were, those cute. were cute. Yeah. And I had, I had Rainbow Bright and the sprites. That's cute. I had too. a lot of sprites, like fifty of them. <laughs> all, I think I had like all the sprites, the little round. I don't know what they were. Little round creatures. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, there were some there were some really cute toys. Hey Bella. How's your eyeball? Oh hey, how's your eyeball, sweetheart? Poor baby girl. No, You're a pretty baby, baby girl. <gasps> Look at her. She's like, hi, yes I am. I'm a pretty baby. Look at <laughs> Einstein's like, yeah, I'm a pretty baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> With big paws. <laughs> He's so jealous. He's like, hey, I know. Oh, my cat gets my dog gets the same way with the cat. Like he loves the cat. It's his friend. It's his best. It's his. It's it's her, not his. It's her sis. It's her brother. I can't talk. But when we're giving the cat love and we're not giving my dog love, she's like, "Hey, I'm the one that gets love here." <laughs> oh, Annika says I had a kid sister. I was actually just thinking kid about sister. that. And kid uh, sister, wherever you go, I go. I remember the song. My buddy. That. There was my buddy. Oh, yeah, my buddy. yeah. My buddy. I remember. I remember my it go buddy. my buddy, and then it go kid sister, kid sister. Yeah. America, you're gonna go, kid sister. 
Kid sister and me. I remember my butt like later when um Chucky came out, I was like, hey, it's my buddy. Yeah, that's very nice for all the kids who had my buddies and they're like, now I'm scared of my doll. <laughs> I mean, he did look a lot like my buddy. Like Chucky. I remember Yeah, well that's the thing. So like that I don't know if that's where my fear of of dolls started but I remember one time going into the family room or the living room and my dad was watching something on TV and one of the Chucky commercials came on and I was really 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 little I was really little so I don't remember this but my mom told me it was just a commercial and I saw Chucky on the screen and I and I screamed and I ran out of the room screaming and from there on out I had tons of dreams of Chucky in my like nightmares and I'd have to kill him with acid that was the only way you could kill him I'm like, how as a little kid did I know that I had to kill things with acid? I don't know. But acid was the trick. And so in my dreams, I'm running around trying to run away from Chucky, but then also trying to find acid to kill him with it. Because acid is easily accessible for children. <laughs> you know, my kids' brains are weird has places. something to do with your uh, fear of dolls. <laughs> kids' brains messy. are weird places. <laughs> You know, it totally made sense to me as as a child. <laughs> okay, I gotta show you something. So I got these these big elevated beds. So I've mm -hmm. got a small one for Bella, a large one for Snicker, and an extra large one for Einstein. So there's his extra large one. There's <laughs> Snicker's large. Yeah. There's Bella's uh <laughs> small one. Einstein, that's not your bed. I think it's supposed to hold up to like 35 pounds and he's like oh my gosh. 70. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's like, Einstein. yeah, yeah, I like this spot though. Einstein. This is a good one for me. Einstein. He's Stop like, I got a butt to, I got a butt to scratch. I got a butt to bite. You don't even Einstein. Hey. Look, I mean Snicker knows which one's his. He does, because he's a smart boy. <laughs> and Einstein. Einstein's like Einstein. He's like, Yeah, I like the little one. <laughs> You don't fit. You does he lay on the? Does he lay on the big one, or does he just like lay on the little one? He'll go on the big one, but yeah, I, there, there's been a few times I've caught him on this one. I'm like, you, you're too big. He also thinks he's a lap dog. Yeah, <laughs> he of course. Either. And yeah, then and Bella's like, I need the biggest is. space of all. <laughs> I need the whole like, couch. Oh yeah, I'll take the whole couch. That's fine. It's all right. There Let's see. I think we had a few shows with, oh, hey, sweetheart, you're so pretty. She's like, yeah. She's like, it's been a rough time. It's been a rough time. She's a good girl. Here comes Einstein. He's like, oh, yeah, you're, he's talking like another animal? oh you're talking. Must be to me. <laughs> I think we had a few shows with Death by Acid, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Yeah, that dip had a oh, bat yeah. in it, right? Dip. Gosh, I remember. I love that show. I love True Frame. Not show. I love that movie, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. But yeah, it was dip. Um, yeah, I'm curious. I'm gonna have to go back and then like look at old shows or movies from the '80s and see where I got acid from. <laughs> it might have been Who Framed Roger Rabbit. That would. Make I think I would have thought of the dip though, because I don't think I thought of it as acid then. I thought of it as dip. Dude, trying <laughs> <laughs> to move my book so you don't step all over it. He's like, what? <laughs> and here he's. He He's just not his. He's not body. He's not. He's not self aware, is he? He's like no, not any part of him. Not <laughs> his size. Not what his butt is doing most of the time. Because <laughs> his butt, man, causes so much havoc throughout the house. And his tail, like he knocks over drinks off the coffee table constantly. And I mean, you've seen what he does to my tripod. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh his yeah, butt is always <laughs> doing something. <laughs> He's like, hey, it's got a mind of its own. Yeah, he just wiggles all over the place. The front half can be still, but the back half is just like, oh, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he's happy. You know, he's just he's just showing his happiness through his butt. Yeah, he is a happy boy. He yeah. was funny at the uh, dog park because he was he was super um, protective of everybody. And it was funny because he got super, he was even super protective of Snicker and he doesn't even like Snicker. <laughs> Poor Snicker. So they haven't, they don't get along very well? Um, not so, I mean, they have moments where they, they'll play, but like when he first, when Snicker first came here, 
Einstein the first was scared of him, which was ridiculous. But by the next day, he was like, okay, I'm the boss of you. Mm. And uh, so he keeps trying to, like, establish his dominance with Snicker. Mm. And then Snicker went away for training and stuff. And then he came back, and he's even bigger. <laughs> and he's, like, uh, But he's also more well-behaved. <laughs> but he's a very, Einstein's a very jealous boy, and that's the thing. Mm. So... It was bad enough he had to share attention with Bella, which he knows Bella was here first. So, you know, mm -hmm. Bella's mama, Bella's the boss. He, he He's always accepted that. But now there's this other intruder. Well, and he was the baby, right? And so now there's a new baby. Yeah. And he does there's not like baby. that. And so it was really funny him, him protecting Snicker at the dog park. Snicker didn't really need protecting, but he was still protecting him anyway. He's a little overprotective of every thing, everyone. <laughs> it's like if if anybody's gonna beat up on Snicker, my little brother, it's gonna be Bye. me. But not you. Oh. You you can't beat up on my little brother. <laughs> That's what Marty said. He was like he was like, Yeah, at home they're siblings and they can fight like siblings. And then um but if anybody else messes with him, that's not allowed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look at that. He's so he's he's he. You're not a little teeny boy. He's not. He you're is not a little teeny big, boy. He's a big, a big baby. boy. I think his head's the same size as yours. I think his head's bigger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> he's a big dude. Yeah, seventy pounds. That's a big boy. Yeah, <laughs> but he thinks he's just this baby. Like you see how contained he does. He is right now? Yeah, he does. He looks like he's like I'm the baby. He's very content right now. He's, he's like, so Mama's got me. I'm loved. He's very pretty. He's a very pretty dog. He is pretty. He yeah. has a very kissable snout, too. <laughs> he's adorable. Yeah, he, look at him. He's just loving this. He's loving mm -hmm. this. You can just hold me like this forever. Mm -hmm. He's oh, like, funny. I'm the baby. You can rock me. Rock mm -hmm. me baby. He would go to sleep like this, too. He's just perfectly content. <laughs> Isn't that right? He's perfectly content. What a silly boy. Mm. That's cute. He is hot. He is a heated blanket on top of mm. a 70 he pound warm. heated blanket. <laughs> yep. A weighted heated blanket. <laughs> I'm kind of smuffocating. <gasps> he's, uh, yeah. But I love this big hunk of dude. Yeah, he's a cutie pie. He's a cutie pie. All right, well, I'm starting to fade. So this might be it for me. <laughs> It's way later for you, but I'm used to going here. to bed early now. Huh? I said, yeah, it's after one here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's like, I'm used to going to bed by 10 now. So I'm just like, I know it's like not a work day, but I'm still getting sleepy. <laughs> <sighs> oh, look at that. I just want to boop him. I want to boop him. You boop. <laughs> boop. He, he has a very boopable nose. <laughs> boop. He gets booped often. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. He's watching the computer. I don't look at him. He's like, yeah, yeah. Who's that person? Who's that person? What's she doing? His ears are lifting. Yeah. What's she doing? That silly little lady there. Yeah. Look at his ears. You see him lifting up. Like, what? what yeah. Who's she, yeah. she talking? She's talking know. to me. I know she's talking to me because she's using that voice. <laughs> yeah. I know they all—they always know the voices. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can work at her. Oof. Yep. Oof. <laughs> you barking at me? Are you boofing at me? Right. Okay, okay. He's a okay. cutie. <laughs> oh, this was so much fun, though. Yes, it was. I'm glad you're back. Me too. I'm ready to go again. <laughs> I know. I totally get that. I totally get that. I'm ready. I'm ready to, you know, sell this house and travel the world. <laughs> I think you need to sell the house. It's a dangerous place. It's a dangerous place to be. Yeah, Snicker is currently licking my toes. Mm. They're loving. dirty. You're loving. <laughs> I'm getting all the, the footsie love. Ew, Snicker. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, they're, they're all just like, Ma. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty much all attached to me most of the time. <laughs> They're all mama's babies. Yes, they are. Are you going to be in uh, Drew's Sprints tomorrow? 
No, I can't be tomorrow. That's why I couldn't do it tomorrow. <laughs> oh, okay. I might join the sprint tomorrow. I don't know. I have I have some editing I have to do. But I may join them so I can get more reading in because I need That'll to be fun. Them. Yeah. We, <laughs> if we have a fam a family thing that came up and so we're gonna go out and sell, sell uh, support my cousin doing she's a uh, horse rider and she's doing this event thing so i'm excited for her fun and yeah it'll be a lot of fun i'm very i haven't ever seen her ride actually so it'll be are you gonna vlog it to see. maybe if she lets me i don't i i want her to vlog. she's she, i've vlogged her before and she's cool with it but if she i don't know if she wants me vlogging her riding her horse because she's a baby so she's not you know like sometimes he does what she wants him to sometimes he doesn't so yeah. you know we'll see i'll ask her I'm sure she'll, she'll probably be fine with it. I will if I, maybe I'll just sneak it. I'll just not tell her. <laughs> <Just a little. laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I will if I can. Yeah, definitely. Well, this was fun. I enjoyed it. And I got some good reading in. So that's Yeah, me too. A plus. And do, you haven't finished them yet. So you've got just a little bit more left. Yeah, I'll probably keep reading that and then go to sleep. I'm still on like, middle of the Atlantic Ocean time, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah well, yes, but you're, you're not tired at all, huh? Uh, not right now. I was at like 9 o'clock, but <laughs> not right now. Was curious. Acid shows up in Gremlins 2. And I did watch Gremlins and Gremlins 2. Batman movies, Transformers cartoons, Aliens. So, yeah. Back then, there was uh, a lot of acid and a lot of... Um, what do you call it? The sand. The, the no, the uh, quicksand. Quicksand was a was a fear of our of our childhood. And there was always nuclear waste too. Yeah, nuclear waste. Nuclear waste. Click quicksand and acid. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, how the times have changed. <laughs> yeah. Well, 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 well thank you. It's gonna be scary. Yeah, it would still be scary, but I guess we have other things to be more scared of. <laughs> like my house. <laughs> yeah, your haunted house. I want you to write a book about it. <laughs> oh, right. well, thank you everyone for joining us. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. I'm, I'm working it. Let's see. Come on. <laughs>